MPCC observes the 131st Foundation Day of Indian National Congress. Ibobi asserts Congress brought change in Manipur. Print and electronic media in Manipur sees work on Tuesday. Stage sit-in against bomb threat to local daily Pandam. And Office of Dean of Students' Welfare set on fire in Musu election-related violence on MU campus. Good evening viewers, this is Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News and I'm Priyo Bharta Sharma. Let's see what Med News this Wednesday. Chief Minister Okram Ibobi has stated that it is because of the Congress party that India got recognition across the globe. Speaking at the 131st Foundation Day of Indian National Congress at the Annex Hall, Hall of Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee, the Chief Minister said Congress is not a power-hungry party. People are aware of the work party has done for the nation before and after the independence. Ibobi said a change in Manipur was also brought by the Congress party and not by other parties who are hungry for power. In his speech, Deputy Chief Minister Gai Khangam asserted that the Congress is a people's party and that the BJP government in the centre has weakened. The event was organised by Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee. Ministers, MLAs, office bearers and workers of the party attended the celebration. Veteran politician and former Chief Minister Rishang Kaishing was honoured at the event. A two-minute silence was also observed as a mark of respect to the deceased members of the party. Congress ki ideology, Congress ki principle, machine ki part ki maru hoy na si. Aina belong to river ka hero. Ato natana ampe na iya na hai ni hero na dapota. Where will be Manipur? Where will be India? Kumbara mahapaki. If Congress ki sapo fire hoy na matu na dapota. Kuchh fire hoy matu na. Fire hoy na. Hangang Block Youth Congress Committee also celebrated the 131st Foundation Day of Indian National Congress Party, a development model for Hengang constituency to be taken up under the Congress aspiring candidate Naurabam Ratan, also known as Kapu was also released at the event. The development model focus, focuses on road communication, health, services, education, safe drinking water and sports in the constituency. Kaching MLA Y Surchandra termed the BJP as a party not suitable for Manipur. He said they should stop the monkey bath and focus on work. Kurai MLA Dr. N.G. Bijoy said BJP is a communal party and people should not support it. The print and electronic media in Manipur seized their work yesterday and staged a sit-in at Kaishampat from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. They were protesting against the planting of a hand grenade at the office of editor of Evening of Pandam Shivadatta Luang at Wahingbam Likai by unknown miscreants. President of MPCC TN Haukeb, spokesperson of BJP Nongthumam Biren and Thamiban MLA KH Joykeshan also took part in the sit-in. Media is the bridge between the people and the government. When media collapse, our democracy collapse. So my appeal to all concerned, do not touch media. Leave media alone. 
Only then we can build a better democracy and a better future. Karigumbada Masida appealed to his father to not Hanna Hanna Manipurgi promising the threat of what Hulagadi Manipur Miam Tumna, Horo Lodogi Maram like the Hibasimasu and Tamzari. The editor is Kimayum the bomb Tanami Konaminatori say, Please stop it. Machine Basito, we can order Sharuki. Democracy in the Sabia, City Matara and Wina Pamisini, Karino, Kramaita, Wuna, Wina Pamisina, behind the way. Human rights cell BJP Manipur Pradesh has decried the cease work by print and electronic media against the planting of a hand grenade at the office of local daily Pandam by some miscreants. In a press release, the cell stated that instead of cease work, the media fraternity should have protested the, protested the act in a democratic way. It also appealed to all concerned not to impose any kind of threats to media. All Manipur Newspaper Publishers Association Manipur has condemned the planting of bomb at the office of Eveninga Pandam on the evening of December 26th. In a press release, this association said the media serves the people. It appealed to all concerned not to repeat such act in the future. CPI ML Liberation Manipur State Committee has also condemned the planting of a bomb at the office of Pandam. Violence erupted on Manipur University campus late last night. Sources said that a student's organization created ruckus on the campus demanding the university authority to hold Manipur University Students' Union Musu elections today. They set fire to the office of the Dean of Students' Welfare. A team of Manipur police and fire service personnel doused the fire. The sources also said some students pelted stones at the police. Police fired tiger shells and mock bombs to contain the situation. Later, a team of Joint Students' Coordination Committee met with the students. Joint Students Coordination Committee, JSCC, has warned of intense agitations if the Manipur University authorities do not notify the MU Students' Union election by 1 p.m. tomorrow. JSCC has demanded holding of the election this month. Addressing media persons at Kangli Park Students Association office on Sega Road today, convener of JSCC Sanasam Subhashandra demanded resignation of the teachers who are trying to postpone the elections in favor of few students. He said it is unfortunate that the elections, which were supposed to be held on the 28th and 28th of this month, had been postponed in an unofficial manner. JSCC has vehemently condemned the use of tear gas shells and rubber bullets by the security forces last evening on the university campus. Academic atmosphere to Guyana number one number the Asoba Thugang Lobo Oza Sing Si Matukta Makoi Makoi Na Pai Riba Sar Sing Sa Si Kung Na Tabida Makoi Makoi Na Pai Riba. Professor Sip says that he resigned to give him a JCC side. He do come back. Wapam Singh, Sir Thamzari, December ki tang kuma apan ki pung until pung ama fawu ki manung da musu election asi tha asi ki manung da pangthok na nabagi. Do come back. Akun na ba mifam ama kaurab ama tung da election asi pangthok na naba notification. Ama thok kadabni kari come back notification asi thok daba taragadi. Ozi ozi mani pro university da mahiro Singh da sang silly bag Hong Jung Singh asi da JCC na. Three-day e-waste management training program under the aegis of Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology kicked off today at National Institute of Electronic and Information Technology, Imphal, NILIT. The training is organized by NILIT as part of Digital India campaign by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. About 50 trainees are taking part in the three-day three -day training. Five experts from NILIT, Directorate of Environment and Manufacturers Association of Information Technology, New Delhi, spoke to the trainees today. Eighteen workers of BJP Manipur Pradesh from Ward number 21 and 22 Wankhai today joined the Congress party. They were given a reception by 15 Wankhai Kendra Block Congress at its office at Subham Likai. General Secretary of Election Committee Wankhai Constituency Taurim Tomba said, Aiden BJP workers leaving the BJP Manipur Pradesh has proved the decline of BJP in Manipur. He expressed the hope that the Congress will come to power in the next assembly polls. Manipur or BJP 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 Election, 
Yaurakdune election is the Tinanan was shame sorry. Lok Jan Shakti Party LJP Imphal East District Committee organized a sit-in at Wankai Kaitala Sangbi against the economic blockade. LJP urged the Manipur government, center and UNC to resolve the present impasse. People staged a sit-in at Mayang Imphal Kaitel yesterday against the alleged firing by one Emma personnel identified as Kumujam Binoy of Mayang Imphal Kongchak. Bipin Chongtham, son of Chongtham Ashok Kumar of Mayang Imphal Kaitel, who was a witness to the incident, told the media that the incident occurred yesterday morning around 10 at Mayang Imphal Bazaar. He said the incident occurred following a brawl after Bipin Chongtham overtook Kumujam Binoy's motorcycle. He said two persons were also injured and admitted to the hospital after Kumujam Binoy hit two persons in the face with the butt of his 9mm gun. The two injured are identified as Naubi, also known as Sarat Chandra, son of late Saikom Chandramani, and Ronald, son of Saikom Raja of Mayang Imphal Kaitel. Bipin alleged that Binoy threatened them not to inform the police or media. Bipin asked how could a police personnel roam around with his service gun. He appealed to the authority concerned to look into the matter and punish the culprit. He said Binoy should be held responsible for any untoward incident. Smarim Tauroga di kanam tu cepang amna dree bojik lambi sok ta. Kali marungi Tauri bno amna draga mukoi je koi game kupu mas hagat laga thamma bra. Sigi leader je na kanau ino je amta tiga bio. Mai le nabi singa. Masih tung tarau tauroga da amun patron amun tauroga da. Binu ni tan tauroga amun leh tauroga da. Binu itu leh na tanya kita amun masih. Kirang thok tu nabi santi leh na bawa meeting tauroga hai mampi me amun na thanda leh na mampi me amun sih sih laga. Ham na ba senjen mada mampi me amun onde lawan nongai tamak pani. Minister Ratan Kumar ni, bayam lagi macam apa? Mungkin biru yang hari baru pas na. Sungguh ambil pin hari baru pas na, mungkin kapal jepun buang le. Nasi mayang kan, tuh ibarat perasa mayang je awak apa je? Tuh na ba hari baru pinu hari baru pas je, tapi tu isi suspend tu biu. Mayang kan dah lagi ibarat perasa mayang je santai ona. Lain apa nak benda mayang kan? Polis na mati yang kuang biu. Meanwhile, Mayang Infal Block Congress Committee clarified that Kumujam Binoy did not fire or hurt anyone. Addressing media at Mayang Infal Bazaar. Chairman of the Media Cell of Mayang Imphal Block Congress Committee, T.H. Modu, said Kumujam Binoy, son of K.H. Kunjo, has been camping at the Congress Bhavan for quite some time for the, for the 131st Foundation Day celebrations of the Indian National Congress. He alleged that BJP workers thrashed two Congress workers last night at Mayang Imphal Bazaar. The injured are identified as Kaisham Gautam Maitei, 43, son of Kaisham Tombi Maitei, and Chungkham Hirojit, aged 43, both of Mayang Imphal Bazaar. They were returning after dropping Yurembam Tomba, son of Yurembam Zilla, home. The gypsy was stopped by BJP worker Chongtham Jibon and were beaten up. TH Modu said Mayang Imphal Block Congress Committee has lodged a complaint at Mayang, Mayang Imphal Police Station. When I was a Congress office was hanging out. I was a member of the Congress. I was a member of the Congress. I was a member ada punya sih, nampak mana kita mukhun juta di. Aduh, dah mungkin kerma ini orang kah kari base dah, kari base sistem mungkin na rahin ti kudung sabar, lawan lagi dah mukta. Tuk selaku mali, anda masih kuma rahin ti kudung sabar, lawan lagi dah mukta. Oh itu mayang ngang besar, masih matung dadi. Tuk bi kuno, mungkin na nongai kapan mikola mian nongai meru kuli aduh tuk ada tuk. Ya amnang na nongai kapan mukta pangai dah jeli. Nipah tu mana intention ni kap kahai dadi, nongai meru mangat tuk tu na kap tu nipah tu. I meri kum tada ba, aduh ki nipah tu kari kuma muda suok tu bersih bo. Kerma ini tu na kau ini thasidori nawa. Unemployed educated youth of Hairok have formed an organization called Social and Youth Progressive Organization, SIPO, with the objective to provide self-employment at a meeting held at Manipur Press Club. President of SIPO, Laishram Sintha, said they formed the organization to reach the benefits of the vocational and skill development programs of the government of India to the youths of Hairok. As a first step, they will organize a state-level debating competition on the topic, it is the people who are responsible for politicians spending money in election. Pemerintah 
Milal has resolved in its meeting to appeal to those who have passed the Maite Mayak TET examination to not form any kind of association. In a press release, Milal has also appealed to those who have passed the Maite Mayak supplementary TET examination to stop collecting relevant documents through media. It's time for a small commercial break. We'll be right back. Keep watching Impact News. <coughs> Beneath 100 meters from the Earth's surface, naturally filtered through sand and stones, pure, clean, and healthy water. Welcome back. This is Prime Time English News. District Program Coordinator DC MG Narega Imphal East organized one day discussion on MG Narega at Panchayat Hall of Deputy Commissioner Imphal East today. A documentary Sorry, film, Mahatma Gandhi, NREGS Imphal East, was also released at the event, attended by the DC Imphal East, among others. Uripo Kangchub Road Auto Mega Diesel Association, Ukram Da, today celebrated its 10th Foundation Day. The association announced that they will not charge fare from media persons traveling from Uripo to Kandangband. President of the association, CH Ibocha, said the association has been providing free service to students of Kadangband who have scored maximum marks in class 10 and 12 examinations since 2014. All Kangalai Park Student Union, Aksu, has warned to shut the offices of Congress and BJP in Manipur and also to cease election-related works indefinitely if the economic blockade imposed by UNC is not lifted within 10 days. In a press release, Aksu also questioned the government's silence even when the people have faced immense hardships due to the economic blockade. BJP Sagolban Mandal held a reception for cooperator of Imphal Municipal Corporation IMC Ward No. 8, Wahingbam Mubimacha at the residence of ex-MLA Dr. K. H. Loken in Sega Road, Takhalimbam Lekai. Members of BJP Sagolban Mandal attended the function. Imagi Charei Fi, a poetry book, was released today at Lamyanba Shanglen Konumumang. The book contains 39 poems written by 17 men and women journalists of Manipur. Former IPS Tokchom Radesham, who took part in the event, expressed his happiness at the launch of the poetry book by journalists who work day and night in difficult situations. He said, everyone needs to support the role of media. Sayang kya puthok pa asin na taapadi ako yung Manipur si awana maraktasu apaba pata maraktasu apaba dum layri awana maraktasu nungay dum layri adal nungay ba may kaya soy na kong thangilagani hay si ulle na ay thang. All Manipur Women's Social Reformation and Development Samaj will celebrate the 36th Foundation Day of the Maira Pai Bee December 29th as done every year. In a press release, the organization said the event will be held at Maya Langjing Community Hall. Addiction-free and healthy youth activist and founder of Animal Gym, R.K. Vishwajit, has been awarded Professor Yashwantrao Kelkar Youth Award 2016. Union Defense Minister Manohar Parikar presented the award to Vishwajit at the 62nd National Conference of Akhil Bharatiya Vidyarthi Parishad, ABVP, in Madhya Pradesh today. The awards carries cash, certificate and a memento it may be mentioned that R.K. Vishwajit is a recipient of Rail Heroes and Indira Gandhi National Excellency Award 2012. And in sports, a friendly football match between Neroka FC Sangakpam and Shillong Lazong FC will be played tomorrow at 1 p.m. in Kumalampak Main Stadium. 21 Shillong Lazong FC players, including Sandeep, Chinglen Sana, Pritam Kumar, and Bipin, who were groomed in Manipur, one Romanian and one Japanese player and four officials landed in Imphal yesterday and are all set for the match tomorrow. 
Head coach of Neroka Gift Raikin is preparing his team which has not only won the Manipur State League and CC meet this year but also were runners up at the Duran Cup. Coach Amo Ibugi made Sana the Toibu Sana Bani. Adubu at the moment winning is important. Adubu Ekoigi Huzik Ekoina plan to receive Mamang the Ailigi planning Labani. Adu player Karale Rishi Ekoigi. Kami itu orang ni, anu buat player juga kalau lembu ni na, mukai kita taste tau, tau jer ni. But we will, we'll try to play our best football. Apa apa, apa apa football, aku ikut pak, ikut pak hot nani. Game game experience ni je, hujik ti, hai bungam de, mui asal buat tim ni, mui alik tim ni, mui every alik tim dah mui je one to five to lakpani. Adu ko mui de experience ni, coach experience ni, club experience ni, player ni am je experience ni. Adu bo aku ini nasib duran kap ta. Aliki, alik tim, ani juga koi thoi kira. Di SK Sivajan, Azu LFC, aku itu kan apa thoi napa koi strategi. Sana rakani, abdul sana ramu tung da koi hai bungam ni kanana kai kanaka deh do. Coach of Shillong Lajong FC, Thangboy Singto has expressed confidence that the friendly match between Neroka and Shillong Lajong Football Club tomorrow will improve the standard of football. Addressing media at the Classic Grand Day in Chingmayrong, Thangboy said the match will also improve the strength of both the teams. Taking part in the press meet, coach of Neroka Gift Raikam said they had invited Shillong Lajong FC for a friendly match in order to gain and share knowledge of both the teams. As part of the sweep activity calendar, a football match was played at Regional College Ground Lilong today between Langthabal constituency and Wangoi constituency. Langthabal beat Wangoi 2 0. Later, a free medical checkup was conducted and biometric enrollment was also held at Lamphale and Wangoi subdivision. Speaking on the occasion, Deputy Commissioner of Imphal West Robert Singh Khetrimayum said the events were organized today to ensure a free and fair election in the upcoming assembly polls. It may be mentioned that District Election Officer Imphal West has been organizing public health camps, biometric enrollment camps, etc. on the theme Free, Fair and Pe Peaceful Football for Free, Fair and Peaceful Poll. Fifth Waitho Chiru Youth Club annual sports meet held on the theme of Victory Through Harmony kicked off today at Waitho Chiru. Inaugurating the three-day event, MLA of Kerau Thamarjit appreciated the organizers for hosting such events at a time when the people of the state are facing immense hardships due to the economic blockade by the United Naga Council. He said this will bring joy to the people of Chiru who have not celebrated Christmas with full flavor due to the blockade. Aikoi na mai paksi, sokhatsi, hai bataragadi, harmony natana, mai pakpo na moi, mana bu natana, wakanun chengdo na bu natana, hai bagi simatu da pangtok liba, siru gedu liba mangarak suba annual sports minasa. Atu ke matik maru liba, amari team da base of sports ni na ilogzi. KJC Kurai thrashed RKC Kuaitong 11-0 in a league match of the first state-level mini boys 4A side under 35 kg football tournament. In another league match, YSC Kuaitong beat TBSFA Tobungkok 3-1. The tournament is organized by Rising Knowledge Club Kuaitong at their playground. Raja FC Shantipur, Yaripok United Yaripok, Pamuba FC Hairok and KML Dio Kyamgai Muslim beat the rivals in the league matches of the 8th M. Ravi Chandra Memorial Football Tournament. Raja FC Shantipur beat MFC Sekmai 2-1. Yaripok United Yaripok, Yaripok trounced KYPC Kyamgai 10-2. Pamuba FC Hairok beat Genuine Solution Kaishampat 1-0. While KML Dio Kyamgai Muslim beat Mama FC Sagulban 2-0. The tournament is organized by M. Ravi Chandra Trust at Kyamgai Ideal High School Playground with 15 teams participating. Eastern Sporting Club Nomai Bung and Nongchup Pana Sagol Kangjai Lok A. Langjing have entered the quarterfinals of the fourth running trophy state level open polo tournament. In the first match played today, Nambul Mapal Polo Club drew the match against Eastern Sporting Club Nomai Bung. Nambul Mapal Polo Club's M. Sanjoy scored two goals while N. Somojit scored one goal. Eastern Sporting Club Nomaibung's A. Nauton scored two goals and N. Pravin scored one goal. The match was decided as per the rules of the tournament. A. Nauton of Eastern Sporting Club Nomaibung scored a goal and beat Nambul Mapal Polo Club 4-3. In the second match, Nongchuk Pana Sagol Kangjai Lop A. Langjing thrashed Kripsha Nauremthong Team B 18-1.
Nongchuppana Sagul Kangje Luk A Langjing L Atang Bas scored eight goals. P Ojit scored five. Kokesho scored two goals. And second row K H Sarjit and T H Kaubas scored one goal each. The lone goal of the losing team was scored by Omesh. The tournament is organized by Nongchuppana Sagul Kangje Luk at Langjing Achoba Sports Complex. Selection trial for Eastern India Bodybuilding Championship and Junior Mr. India was held at KFC Singhjami. K. Suraj, R. K. Bijan, L. Subhashandra, H. Sanjay, T. H. Gyanendra, K. S. H. Mar Maradona from men's category and T. H. Sarita and W. Jamuna from women's category have been selected to represent Manipur in the championship to be held in January and February. And before we end the headlines, once again. MPCC observes the 131st Foundation Day of Indian National Congress. Ibobi asserts Congress brought change in Manipur. Print and electronic media in Manipur sees work on Tuesday. Stage sit-in against bomb threat to local daily Pandam. And Office of Dean of Students' Welfare set on fire in Musu election-related violence on MU campus.